everyone. This is Tumkur University, Department of Studies and Research in Organic Chemistry. We have done an experimental video on kinetic investigation of autocatalysis reaction between potassium permanganate versus oxalic acid by the students of first MSc Organic Chemistry Batch A3 under the guidance Dr. D. Suresh Sir, Coordinator Mr. Prithviraj K. Sir, Faculty. We would like to thank Dr. D. Suresh Sir, Coordinator, DOS and R in Organic Chemistry, Tumkur University, Tumkur, for all your support and guidance for this experiment, sir. The reagents required for this experiment are 0.01 molar sodium thiosulfate, 0.1 molar oxalic acid, 1 molar sulfuric acid, 0.2 molar manganese sulfate, 0.02 molar potassium permanganate and starch indicator. Firstly, fill the burette with sodium thiosulfate using a funnel. After filling, note down the initial reading of the burette. Then take 10 ml of potassium iodide using a standard measuring cylinder and transfer it into a conical flask. Then take 50 ml of oxalic acid using standard measuring cylinder and transfer it into a reagent bottle. After adding oxalic acid, take 10 ml of sulfuric acid using standard measuring cylinder and Transfer it into a reagent bottle. Then take 25 ml of distilled water in a standard measuring cylinder and transfer it into a reagent bottle which is already having 50 ml of oxalic acid and 10 ml of sulfuric acid. Then keep the reagent bottle in an water bath. Then take 10 ml of potassium permanganate using a standard measuring cylinder and Transfer it into a reagent bottle. While transferring the potassium permanganate to the reagent bottle, start the timer. After adding, immediately pipette out 10 ml of the solution from the reagent bottle and transfer it into a conical flask which is already having 10 ml of potassium iodide. Then add 2 to 3 drops of starch indicator. Note down the initial color on in the conical flask that is wine red in color. Then titrate it against sodium thiosulfate until the wine red become colorless. Meanwhile, shake the reagent bottle for the uniform concentration. The solution become colorless that indicates the end point of the titration. Then note down the reading in the burette.
After three minutes, again pip it out 10 ml of the solution from the reagent bottle and transfer it into a reagent bottle which is already having 10 ml of potassium iodide. Then add 2 to 3 drops of starch indicator. After adding, titrate it again in sodium thiosulfate until the wine red become colorless. After several minutes, the solution color will changes in the reagent bottle. So again take 10 ml of the solution from the reagent bottle and transfer it into a conical flask which is already having 10 ml of potassium iodide and add 2 to 3 drops of starch indicator. Then titrate it again as sodium thiosulfate until the color become colorless. The tabular column for this experiment or as taking reaction mixture oxalic acid, potassium permanganate, manganese sulfate, sulfuric acid and water. For reaction mixture 1 and 2, there is no requirement of manganese sulfate. For the reaction mixture 3 and 4, we require 10 ml of manganese sulfate. And for different minutes, that is for different time intervals, 0, 3, 6, 9 minutes, the burette reading for the reaction mixture 1, reaction mixture 2, reaction mixture 3 and the reaction mixture 4 are as follows. Then plot a graph by taking time in x axis versus volume in y axis. We got different curves for the reaction mixture 1, 2, 3 and 4. My friends involved in the experiment preparation and the performance are as follows. Thank you for watching.